So just for that context of the situation, uh, you originally get introduced to the Gladi Arena through the main quest line. So Bayek, he's trying to lure out uh, a specific target. And so he, he covers himself going into the Gladi Arena to pretend to be a gladiator to, have, to be able to lure this person out. That's how you get into it. Once you've gotten into it, it becomes optional. And we have a ton of bosses and a ton of rounds. There's a lot of cool gear to get to win through the Gladi Arena. But again, it's the player's choice. If you want to keep going down this rabbit hole, you can. And if not, that's okay too. If you're going to miss out on amazing bosses. That's your choice. Uh, here, we're seeing a new weapon, which is uh, what we call a heavy bladed, so like a giant axe. And you can see some of the combos here. Fighting an enemy with a shield is very different than an enemy with a sword or a spear. Here we finished the first wave, a new wave is coming, so we can see the shields are bigger. There are different types of shields. There's guys with hammers. Here you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've built up this adrenaline uh, meter. So this is kind of a meta strategy in the fight system where you can build up this meter to unleash massive attacks or what we call fury mode. Uh, each weapon has its own style of devastating attacks or fury mode. And eventually what we want players to do is to... Here we go, this is it. <laughs> yes, yes. Round of applause for the team. There we go. See, very poorly timed swings. The person who, who played this... I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to him after this. He's standing just off stage. Um, so here we can see two massive dudes. Yeah, yeah. This, this part is hard. Even for me, it's very hard. But you can see, so, a little detail. You saw him get knocked to the ground. Things like status effects, like knocked to the ground, stun, uh, breaking open their shields. All of this are properties of weapons, properties of combos and attacks that we want people to learn that depth and master it. And every weapon has its own style. So here we're able to knock him down, which allows us to start un un unloading. But he still has his shield up. So here we want to play with things like having the guy be committed to a move before going to his back and doing a critical hit. So there we go. So the waves are done. Now it's onto the boss of this area. So we'll let the introduction play. But again, just to repeat, we are introduced to this through the main quest line. And then after this point, it becomes uh, an optional piece of content. Uh, as, as now Bayek has the right to enter an arena, it's up to the player to, to continue or not. So we go with the slaver. So as you'll see, every boss has their own unique set of combos, unique weapons. Keep in mind, this is, you know, I'll say it, I'm super proud of what we have, and I'm really happy that we're able to show it off. It is still a work in progress. Uh, we still have, uh, we're, still, we're still working on this thing. We're tuning and balancing, uh, you know, working out the wrinkles. Um, but we're super proud to be able to show it off and have people play it here at E3. Is this playable over at E3? This is playable here at wow. E3, yes. Okay. You have to watch out for those spikes, so the environment matters. Uh, you can use the environment against the enemy if you're clever, if you know how to use your weapon, if you know how to use push attacks, this kind of stuff. Uh, we really want it to craft, you know, it's a, it's a dance between these two. So now he's getting pissed. So his. As he goes through the fight, he gains new attacks. Uh, his strategy will adapt to yours. He's gonna get tougher and tougher. As you can see, he's actually getting faster with his attacks, getting more aggressive. And I'll say this is one of the simplest bosses we have in the game. We have some super cool, unique bosses. We put a lot of effort into this. Uh, Almost halfway there. That's something important that you can do. You can kind of prepare an attack, feint an attack, be able to dodge last second. You know, hitting an enemy in the back will actually do bonus damage. 
uh, hitting an enemy on the ground or getting them on the ground also do bonus damage. Uh, there's a, there's a quite a lot of depth. It's a very different fight system than we've ever done. Uh, and, and that's why we have this here at E3. It's because, you know, we can say it until we're blue in the face. We can show awesome videos, but it's not the same if you don't feel it. And that's why we have this here. We want players to feel it and to realize, okay, yeah, it is drastically different. It is something new and, and hopefully something quite cool. It's pretty intense here. Is he, is he gonna is he gonna make it? I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to we'll talk we'll have to talk to him afterwards to see how he feels about this. Oh, oh! oh wow! What he a took finish. like two and what a half a bars finish. of damage in like two shots. Wow! What a finish! All right, very impressive. Oh, no mercy. mercy. That's how this crowd. Boo! Man, this crowd is vicious. Wow. We want blood. We actually, we <laughs> All right, you did it. So here, 